of the Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, there it is. Uh, the new Red Dead Redemption conversion. Um, now, a lot of people hate this conversion and are not really looking forward to it. Personally, I have mixed opinions about it. Good and bad. Mostly good, in my opinion. The thing I like about it is the fact that it's coming to PS4. So it's not like, you know, PS4 people are going to be left out because if, if this conversion wasn't coming to PS4, um, just stop and think about this. It would cost like $650. This port is actually $50, which isn't that bad. It is... It is a real re-release, pretty much, unfortunately, and that's why people hate it so much. <coughs> so today, I'm actually going to play some Red Dead Redemption 2 to, you know, buy, uh, you know, build this excitement because I, because it's been a long time since I played Red Dead Redemption on the PS3, and now I'm finally going to be able to get to play it again, hopefully. Um, and it's also bringing along its, uh, its, uh, zombie apocalypse friend, Undead Nightmare, where it's basically a walking dot, it's like a walking dead style version of the game where, uh, there's, there's zombies around that's trying to, you know, kill you and, um, yeah. And I'm sure that this new conversion is going to bring back some of the the older things that, you know, for, was from the original game, uh, you know, like the, uh, the, the honor system, uh, the fame system, uh, something I really enjoyed about the first game, uh, was how easy it was to actually increase your honor, um, and fame, for that matter, where you had unlimited bounty hunting, this will also get you some good money, too, um, See, High Honor in Red Dead Redemption 1 is actually a bit better than in Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, you do get, like, some of the same benefits from both games. Like, if you have High Honor, then in both games you do get, uh, you know, store discounts. Uh, like, for example, I'm playing the second game, right? So I'm going to show you guys. Correct? Yes, it is. Okay, so, as you can see, everything is half off. Which is pretty decent. Um, the fame system, though... See, the fame system is like... Um, if you ever played Sims 4, it's like uh, Get Famous, pretty much. <laughs> why, why do I use the Sims 4 for an example? Um, now this... I know I'm a little late to this, and uh, chances are it's probably not coming because, I mean, not a lot of people talk about this. Um, but I want this new conversion to add some new features. Um, it's a little too late for this, like I said, because it's, re like, it's releasing in, like, under two days now, which is insane. You can pre-order it right now, if you really wanted to. Um, and this conversion for the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch... Uh, I think Nintendo Switch people are really going to enjoy this game because it's basically the first time they're ever going to get to use it, or not use it, you know, Nintendo Switch people are getting their very first taste in Red Dead Redemption, and that's, that's something that they need to be, you know, appreciative of, of in my opinion. I think, I think they ought to be really happy right now because of them being able to, uh, uh, finally being able to play Red Dead Redemption. Um... I, I'm excited for it, guys. It's just an opinion. A majority of the community uh, are really disappointed about this. I'm not. I completely disagree. Um, honestly, the thing I hate most about this is that the graphics don't look any different. Like, yeah, the shadows are a bit better. The vegetation is a bit better. Uh, the clothes look a, li look a little bit better. Uh, the stone textures look a bit better better and they look 
uh, quite a bit improved, which is a good thing. Uh, there are a few errors from the original game that I like to see them fix in this new conversion. Uh, where you see these power poles, uh, and it would look like they would come through the freaking railroad, which just didn't look realistic at all. It looked so unrealistic. Please fix this, Rockstar. I'm begging you. Um, you make some pretty good games, um, honestly. Um, I know the PS4 is outdated, um, and see, PS5 is just way too expensive in my opinion. Like, you just can't afford it nowadays. And it sucks because a game that I was really looking forward to playing uh, this year, uh, when I heard about it back in June, was Phasmophobia. But, because of Kinetic Games' decision, it's not coming to PS4. And, I don't I don't really understand why it's not coming to PS4. They said in the description that, you know, it would be too powerful for the Sims 4's engine. I don't agree. <laughs> I don't agree at all. First of all, Phasmophobia is set on, like, a one square unit map that ends. So, it's not like an open world like Red Dead Redemption 2 or, um, you know, GTA San Andreas or any GTA game or Red Dead Redemption game or anything like that where it's a free open world game. Yeah, Disney textures look, you know, unrendered because of, you know, to lower the graphic scale and, you know, prevent lag. But that's, like, way distant. The maps that you're in in Phasmophobia, they're just, they're just way too small. And I feel like your PS4 would be, would be able to handle that easily. I just don't get why Kinetic Games decided not to pour it over to PS4. That means PS4 people, like myself included, are going to have to buy a PS5, which costs already too much money, then buy the game. And, again, it's not worth it. it, it I, I feel like it's not worth it. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. Um, so, again, I'm not buying a PS5, I'm not buying Phasmophobia, it was a huge, it upset me so much, the fact that, like, I, I, it's not common to PS4, especially knowing that it's a game that came out before PS5 came out, so, that, again, that's what made me mad so much, that's what pissed me off the most, is the fact that Phasmophobia came out before PS5 even came out, and that's, again, that makes me so mad. That Kinetic Games d d just does not care about PS4 people. I mean, I know that, you know, the engine might not be able to handle it. I know PS4 is outdated. I know PS4 just, uh, it might not be the software to, you know, render all the objects. But I, I just don't see why they couldn't try, all right? They, they could have tried to play test on PS4. It's like they're just completely ignoring PS4. I mean, it doesn't hurt in trying, alright? Try to port it to PS4, see if it works. If it doesn't, then just forget it. Just forget about it. And I feel like they just completely igno just ignored that and just didn't care. They were like, oh yeah, let's go ahead and just forget PS4, go to the next-gen consoles. People with PS4 are going to have to buy a PS5. Who gives a shit? Well, I do. Because PS5 is way too expensive in itself. Then you have to buy the game. I'm sorry, it's not worth it at that point. I would much rather be. I would much rather buy uh, the Red Dead Redemption conversion compared to that. It's like 95% cheaper than you know getting a PS5 then buying Phasmophobia, which is something that I was so looking forward to, until I was immediately real- until I immediately realized and be disappointed about it not coming to PS4. Like I said earlier, I get the fact that PS4 is outdated. It might not have the software like PS5 does. But that's- it's not saying that PS4 is not bad. It, it, the only thing that PS4 is, is outdated. PS4 isn't bad in any mean whatsoever, or any means whatsoever. Like, I feel like PS4 is pretty rad. Like, it has some of the good games, this one included Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, it has some great games, and 
I mean, there are some bad games out there for PS4, but a majority of them are gun. Alright, did I say gun? <laughs> a majority of them are good. Um, so, again, uh, the reason why, like, I feel like PS4 would easily be able to render Phasmophobia is because Phasmophobia has, like, these short houses that have, like, uh, you know, like these short maps that have, like, very little square unit space. Um, and it's just one map. I feel like it should be able to easily render all of that. But Kinetic Games just doesn't care, alright? I, I mean, I love Phasmophobia. Way back in 2020, um, I keep saying two years, but I actually waited three years. So, yeah. Waited more years than what I thought, or what, than what I said. So, yeah, one year extra I was waiting for, for nothing. Uh, so, again, I, I, I watched this game on YouTube in 2020, 2021, 2022, and even a little bit this year, too. And I've enjoyed it. The more I, wa the more I watch it, the more I wanted to actually play it. Then, of course, in June was the huge letdown that ruined my expectations and ruined my uh, year. Because I really, really, really want to enjoy that game. But, of course, it, you know, Kinetic Games could not, you know, they could not, uh, you know, do it for PS4. And I just don't understand why. I just don't. Can you, like, Kinetic Games, can you at least try to make PS4 people happy, because PS4 people, my, like myself, have to buy a PS5, which is already way too much money, then we have to buy the game, which is another added-in bonus. So, it's looking at, like, the game's probably going to be like 30 or $40, so it's going to be like close to $700. You tell me that's worth it. It's not. People with PS5s, PC, um, and Xbox Series X, yeah, route for you, because you're going to be able to get the game cheaper than everybody else that doesn't have those consoles, uh, which, you know, sucks. So, yeah, congrats on you. I get to play Red Dead Redemption Conversion. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption Conversion, that should be what, it, that should, that should be what it's called. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, peace out, and... Uh, yeah, I cannot wait for this Red Dead Redemption conversion to come out in a couple of days. I'm looking forward to playing it. So, if you guys enjoy it next time, peace out.